Hey, bowling fans, it's time for another Grumpy Lefty review. We've got Matt throwing the UFO today in this video. Let's get him on the lane and let's see him toss it. Woo! Yeah. 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 Let's talk about the layout real quick. Matt went with a 60 by three and a half by 25. Purpose being is that this ball has a lot of wheels, right? The cover's really strong. We wanted the flare to be strong as well, but keep the angles in a forward plane to get the ball down the lane a little bit more to save up some more energy and turn that corner really hard. Matt needs the stuff to really see that friction and create that angle. There's your layout and here is Matt throwing this beautiful baby boy right here. <laughs> beautiful baby boy. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> sure. All right, everyone is watching Matt throw the UFO. He is on Stone Street. This is our test pattern. 42 feet, nine and a half to one. The UFO, if you had watched Matt's nuclear cell video, we did the same layout. You were an arrow more right with the UFO and the nuclear cell. The overall shape of the ball from the solid cover stock to the e of P20 Pearl on the nuclear, this guy was a little bit earlier. I wouldn't even say smooth because this thing was no, not smooth jumped. at yeah, all. Too. It still popped, definitely Crazy. more predictable. Yeah, oh yeah. What are your thoughts there, buddy? Let them know. What do we got for numbers? So this is the Microtrax S20 solid, 2.52054th intermediate of 0.016. <laughs> the astronaut core. <laughs> <laughs> now this ball is another really good one. You probably prefer this shape over the nuclear. Yeah, it's for, more, for you overall. Yeah, it's, it's more predictable. It's a little bit earlier. I don't have to get as far right. It still turns in the back, but it's not crazy. Yeah, you're not changing directions as much as, as, hard. That, yeah, as the nuclear was doing. The carry was better with this for the exact reason, like you just said, you didn't have to really send it hard or as hard as you did with the nuclear. So between all the three, if so, if you're watching this and you're kind of like in between what you want to get, your spec cover stuff, your, your crux, your gravity, those balls are going to be a little bit more controllable off the wet dry. You're not going to cover a lot of boards going left to right or right to left. If you want something that's really going to shape down lane and really create big motion or big angle, you want to go UFO, you want to go nuclear. If you're looking for more stability or something a little bit more controllable, probably stay with the vision. I would put the Vision maybe two or three boards weaker down lane, uh, but maybe like a foot or two earlier overall. That's got a similar layout in it too. UFO, baby. Or yeah, yeah, just drill another idol. Drill, <laughs> drill like the fifth idol, because yeah. that's just what everyone's doing. Hey, you know, when you, when you hit that magic, you gotta keep that magic rolling. Oh yeah. The UFO is already out. We're just doing this for another grumpy but tolerable lefty review for Mr. Musgrave. <laughs> it is your first time here, please, Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, or even possibly the thumbs down. That's okay, we understand, we get it. Leave us some comments and let us know what you think of the UFO. If you haven't seen the nuclear cell video, scroll back through and uh, check that video as well. It gives you some uh, references to what we're kind of talking about. Absolutely hit the notification bell so you don't miss another on-lane video ball review from us here at Callahan's Performance Bowling. Yeah? Hi. Hey, we'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>